Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? Um, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to enter into the 10K giveaway and hit that like button for me, please. Um, I love uh, all your support. I appreciate all of you guys for my channel. So um, let's get into your reading. I was channeling your energy, Libra, and I was feeling like there was maybe a fire sign or an Aries specifically um, that was sneaky. Um backstabbing or just trying to cause like drama or toxicity or something like that in your life and I feel like you are it doesn't have to be a fire sign I just feel like that was what I was seeing um they were also like trying to control or be very controlling in your life um so that could be where that fiery energy is coming from um like very dominant and controlling and um just I don't know it was a very negative energy, but I feel like you're disconnecting from that and you are going on towards someone or something where you can like get reciprocity, you know, giving what you're getting. Um, I'm struggling to find words with you guys. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, like someone who's going to like lift you up and help you, you know, um, get to where you want to go in life and put in the work and effort. Yeah, round and round your overall energy. You've been in a karmic cycle for a while now, Aries. Oh, Aries. See, I feel like it was an Aries. Um, Libra, sorry. And then fork in the road. So round and round, fork in the road. It. I usually don't take these upside down, but, um, or in reverse, fork in the road. It's like you've been stuck in a cycle so long, you're pulling yourself out of it and you're not going to be stuck anymore. Wow. All right. See, you're removing yourself from this this situation. Uh, let's see, what's your person's overall energy? To be fair, that's your energy. Libra energy, balancing the scales, flexible. This could be the new person, all right, that you're um, starting to look for or move towards. Yeah, time to go. You're, you're moving towards something faded, something that will give you what you give back. Loyalty, a loyal heart, long-term yeah, I feel like this person, they're very much, they live in the moment. They're very flexible. There's a new beginning here. They're very balanced. I feel like when you're with this new person, you feel very balanced, okay? I don't feel like this is the old. I feel like you've just recently walked away from that towards something that serves you much better, okay? Um, but let's get into it. Current energies for your person, Libra. Current energies for your person, the lovers, Gemini energy, a choice in love or a soulmate connection or bond here. All right, what else for Libra's person? Libra's person, wow, two of cups, soulmate bond, and then you, queen of swords. This person feels a very strong connection with you. Four of pentacles, ooh, they're going to hold on tight. This person's holding on tight. I just saw um, this. <laughs> like, I didn't know this fell. I just saw it flip. Yeah, there's passion, desire, healing. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's healing. This person feels very connected to you. Soulmate energy here. Very grounded energy, long-term stability, loyalty, Growth, strength, abundance, fertile. Wow. And there's that passion and chemistry and um, desire here. Attraction. Wow, this is good. I like this. All right, what's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection for Libra? The hanged man. Somebody got clear. You got clarity on something. Um, Pisces energy. I feel like the, the whoever it is that you left, they're not seeing things clearly. They may still be a hindrance in your life right now because I do feel it still lingering in your energy. 
Page of Pentacles. There could be an age difference going on with this new person, or um, it could be something where one of you, I'm just going to say one, one of you comes off more as like a page with stability, and the other one is more of like the king or queen and is already established with stability. All right, so take that how it resonates. I feel like there is something where... Maybe I'm just going to use this as an example, like they're very successful, they own a home, car, awesome credit, like got it going on. And like, I'm just going to say like you don't feel like you match up to that level or vice versa. OK, um, so that could be going on there, too. But I don't think that matters. That's a like internal feeling or insecurity. Um if it's you, get over that, you know? I don't think that matters to this person or vice versa. All right, let's see. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse. There's that Aries that I keep seeing. Aries Leo Sag. It's in the reverse as a blockage. I feel like uh, your ex or whoever this person is could be trying to sabotage this connection, but I don't think they're going to be successful. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? Seven of Pentacles and the Sun, Leo energy. This person, whoever this is, whoever this person is, they don't like that you rejected them and they're trying to sabotage this. They're trying to sabotage your happiness because they're feeling extremely rejected. You may have lived with them, had a house, home, children. They don't want to see you happy with somebody else. Yep, they don't like it. They don't like it at all. Oh, they do not like it at all. I don't know if you have like a house, home, or like engaged or married to this person. The old, the old person. The new person, I feel like is, and if you haven't met them yet, I feel like you will soon be meeting this person that I feel like is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could just be somebody who is very stable, all right? I feel like this other person where I feel like it is an Aries or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, it could be anybody though, you guys. They just carry that energy. Um, they're really trying to get in the way of this. You're in your energy too. You're being very like bold, blunt, um, cutting off, cutting out things that no longer serve you. I feel like this person, this old person put you through a huge karmic cycle and you finally released yourself from it, but they're not letting you go that easy. They could be like texting you constantly, calling you, driving by, stopping by your work, sending you like long ass text messages. Um, I feel like they turn the tables, they're blaming you. Almost like a narcissist energy, narcissistic energy or a controlling energy. I was seeing that control. They were trying to control you and you finally released yourself from it and they don't, they don't like it. All right, let's see. How does this new person truly feel about you? How does this new person truly feel about you? How does this new person truly feel about Libra? Nine of Cups. You're a wish fulfillment to them. New person, new person. I feel like I have to emphasize it. I feel like the spirit wants to talk about this past person, but feel like you've released yourself. Ah, King of Wands. It's the fire sign. Did you have, like, were you married, children, living together with this 
person, this controlling person. There could even have been like overindulging or drinking, something like that. Hold on. I want the new, the new person. Ah, it's talking about the old person. Yeah, the, the shadow side, the devil. So this new person, how they feel, they could feel like this old person is still very much attached to your energy, your assets, your your life. You're not fully disconnected yet. Um, but I do see this new person wanting to kind of like, there's that, that leg up, that working together as a team. They do want to work together with you on this. I feel like they want to kind of keep it light, playful, fun, innocent, young, youthful, that kind of a thing. But they do want to help you. They do want to work together with you and be on the same page and like help you through whatever this is. Because they see, they see what this, this person, how toxic they were. All right, good. So it's transforming into the new. All right. What else? What else? What else? What else? I feel like they're protective of you, this new person. I like it. I like this new person. Wow. I feel like it could be any sign. They're they're coming into your life as a king of swords here. They're helping you. And I feel like if this other person was that toxic and trying every trick in the book, this person is not afraid to stand up to them. This person is not afraid to like, I'm hearing that song, take a stand, Eminem. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I feel like this person is like not afraid of this person, this fire sign or this controlling ex. This new person is not, they're not afraid to go after or take charge. They're very intelligent, whoever this new person is. They're very good at knowing like laws they're very good at communicating. They're very good at cutting through BS. I, I like this new person's energy a lot. I got to be honest, um, Libra. That's good. They're, wow, yeah. See, they're very stable. They might be a little slow moving, though. I do see that. So if you're like, oh, this person's kind of moving slow, or it's just because I feel like they, they're way into you. They, they're way into you. They feel the connection. There's a lot of attraction, passion, chemistry, a lot of that going on, but they don't want to overstep boundaries or move too fast and have you maybe change your mind or whatever, but they are. They see victory and success with you. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They see that 10 of cups. This is also like that emotional fulfillment here. Complete emotional fulfillment. There's love here. There's care. There's concern. There's compassion. There's understanding. This person, I feel, has your back. Through this, this scenario, this hard time, through this transformation. I like it. I do. I like it. All right, let's see. Potential outcome here with you and the new person. Potential outcome for Libra. There it is again. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Slow, strong, stable movement forward. All right, what else? Outcome, outcome, outcome. That wanted to come out the moon. You may not see this yet or it could be unknown to you. You're, okay. If there is something with court or legal system, you don't see this coming. What is this? Yeah, yeah, wow, 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 wow. 
this is you, all right? But it is also the legal system. I feel like what you don't see coming here, things are going to move forward and go your way. It may not be without a fight, but it is going to go your way. You are going to get what you want, and you're going to get a new beginning in stability and a new beginning in love here. Yep. There's going to be some kind of communication that goes on that's going to move things into calmer waters, and you're going to have this, this new beginning. And I feel like it is something with... Um, contracts, the court system, the legal system, something, but things are going to balance out for you. Secrets are going to come out. Not with, like, just in general, like, with whatever this is you're going through. If there were things that were hidden or whatever, I feel like um, those are going to come out and it's going to actually create justice for you. There is going to be communication to move this forward into calmer waters, and it's going to balance out. And you'll get your new start here. There could be, you could be getting um, a car or an automobile out of this or something to do with car or travel. But I also, the chariot, it is a welcome change. It is movement forward, picking a path and moving forward. This person, this new person, I feel they're going to make you a... Stable offer. It might be a small one to start. This person is moving slow, but then look, it's going to end up starting off with the ace and turning into that 10. Yeah. I like it. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacles for Libra. The biggest obstacles for Libra. Healing. And that could be the, your person, this new person, they're not dumb. They're not dumb. Um, and I feel like they understand this process. They may have been through something similar like this so they can relate and know um, steps that need to be taken, even just in the healing process, you know? Um, so healing could be something to overcome. Success and abundance. Libra, know that you deserve this good person that's coming towards you or you already met and know who this is, okay? Okay. You do deserve it. So overcoming the conditioning that this other person from the past put on you, that you weren't good enough, that everything you say and do is wrong. Um, you're never going to be better than them. You're never going to have what you want. You wouldn't have what you have unless it was for, from them. Like release all of that because you do deserve success and abundance. Okay. So that's, I feel like what you're going to overcome through this healing process. deep but it's a good good energy here all right let's see what else do we have for libra don't forget you guys to subscribe to my channel to enter the 10k giveaway and also the valentine's day giveaway and booking a personal reading all that's in the information box uh, description box below self-worth see value self-esteem confidence be empowered by valuing yourself there's something here about you rebuilding your confidence um, and then journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. This, this is happening for a reason. Maybe going through it, you don't see it, but you will looking back. Sacred journey, see? Sacred journey. Understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. You end up, this is literally what I just said, you end up realizing this, what, what this taught you and why you had to go through it. Receive, open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive and rise above. Drama, obstacles, pettiness, find the strength to rise. You are, I feel like you are, I can tell it's, it wore you out, but this other person, it could even be a friend, whoever this person is. It could be a friend, family member, but I feel like it is someone who is very, I feel like it's more of a love, but um, they're here to help you. All right, kisses, un unconditional love, <laughs> unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love and look, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. An addiction, that could be even be addiction to control. Narcissists are very, like, addictive, or, you know, um, they're addicted to controlling people and ruining people's lives. And 
addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. And then Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. All right. So you do have love coming. This person, like, I'm kind of envious of you. This is, the, whoever this person is, like, solid. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering, and go after going through that, if you're wondering about this new person, they're, they're amazing. <laughs> amazing. All right, what messages do we have here? The past is now behind you. Release and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Wow, that's deep. That is deep, Libra. All right, any other messages for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Thank you. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You have the power, Libra. You're in control, all right? Past is now behind you. Whew. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you this week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to book a personal reading. Information's in the description box below. And until next time, love and light.